So we're starting off first with Devin Haney, working the heavy bag here. And look, fundamentally, we all know Devin Haney is the better boxer between these two. But I will say, if you're talking about power, I will go with Ryan Garcia, who has a bit more pop on his punches. Once again, guys, April 20th. Please be sure to leave your predictions in the comment section down below. Are you going with Devin Haney? Or are you going with Ryan Garcia? See Devin Haney using these old school heavy bag gloves. You don't really see a lot of fighters using these. Working on his right hand here. And you can see Devin Haney's clearly in shape. I think he's having a, a great training camp. Here we have Garcia working with Derek Lewis. And I, you know, I will say Derek Lewis has definitely made some incredible improvements in Ryan Garcia's game. I mean, just the fact that Ryan Garcia isn't dropping his hands like he used to anymore. Keeping his chin tucked. You know, I think offensively, Ryan Garcia has always been blessed, but he's definitely lacked defense. He's lacked head movement. And I think Derek Lewis is instilling those, those fundamentals. I do think the conversation has died off a little bit about this fight. I do see there's also a lot of tickets still available. You know, Ryan Garcia was kind of going crazy on social media for like two weeks, and everyone was talking about this fight. But I will say for the last week, week and a half, it's been pretty quiet. You know, they haven't been posting as much. It's, it's kind of time to lock in. I mean, this fight, once again, it is fastly approaching. You know, I will say going into this fight, I think... We all know this. If this fight does go to decision, you have to go with Devin Haney. I think Devin Haney is definitely able to beat Ryan if we're just going off points. He's, he's the cleaner boxer, the sharper boxer. But if this fight, if someone gets knocked out, I, I think it's Devin Haney who's going to touch the canvas. That's just my opinion. I don't see Devin Haney knocking out Ryan Garcia, but I, I could see the vice versa happening. I could see Ryan Garcia knocking out Devin Haney. I know that's crazy. I know we've never seen Devin touch the canvas. But Ryan's got power, especially at 140. And he's also dropped Devin Haney in the, in the amateurs. So it's not like he's never dropped Devin Haney before. See Derek James dropping some knowledge right there. Ryan Garcia says he would like to retire with Derek James. You know, we've seen Ryan Garcia go from camp to camp throughout the years. Of course, he was training with his dad originally. Then somehow he started training with Eddie Reynoso and Canelo. Then he goes to Joe Goosen. Leaves Joe Goosen and ends up in Texas with Derek James. Of course, if you aren't familiar with Derek James, he trains Earl Spence Jr. I think he trains Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo, Frank Martin, a couple of other fighters as well. See Devin just shadow boxing here. Once again, you see him using those small little old school boxing gloves. You know, I think it's incredible watching Devin Haney hit the heavy bag. It's, everything about it is just perfect. All the fundamentals, the footwork. He shoots everything correctly. I mean, just a perfect textbook boxer. And you can see the difference when you go from Devin to Ryan Garcia. I think there's a big difference. You 
You know, Ryan has the power, but Devin Haney definitely has the skill. And there's an old saying in boxing. I think it was probably coined by Floyd Mayweather. Skills pay the bills. And, you know, in boxing, uh, that's just what history says. See the fast jab of Garcia here. You know, I do think speed-wise, just hand speed-wise, I would give the edge to Ryan Garcia. He's known for his speed. Look how he, he has his hand so low. I mean, you can't do that when you're fighting a guy like Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia's shadow boxing here, just moving around. You know, if he does lose again, he will not have two losses on his record. One to Javante Davis and one to Devin Haney. You know, I'm not sure how that really looks. As only a 25 year old, I believe Ryan Garcia is having already two losses. Definitely doesn't look the best. You know, I also will say the bad blood between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia does seem a bit artificial. I think these guys don't hate each other. I think these guys used to be friends in the amateurs. Their families know each other. I mean, these dudes are being financially incentivized to hate each other because it makes the fight bigger. It sells more tickets. It sells more pay-per-views. But let's be honest, these guys, these guys are friends. They, they try to make it seem like they don't like each other, that they hate each other. I certainly do not think that's the actual case behind the scenes. So there you guys have it. April 20th, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Once again, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, pick up a t-shirt, www.lefthookshop.com. We have all new designs. Everything is very affordable. I will leave a link down in the description. Once again, www.lefthookshop.com. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video next.